Recently, I watched a story about a rabbit who was trapped in a hole because there was a strong wind. The wind blew a mango fruit down and it hit the top of his burrow. In fright, the rabbit jumped out and started shouting as he ran. The sky is falling. The other animals saw him running and asked him what was wrong. And he said, the sky is falling. They also, in fear, started to run. And more and more animals joined in running hither teeter. Until the lion caught up with them and asked them to go show him where the sky is falling from. They soon discovered it was only a mango fruit that had fallen on the rabbit's burrow. By listening to the world and going in the direction the world is going, so many people have shortchained themselves from living the kind of life they ought to be living. So many young people keep living in the world's normal. And as long as you keep living in the world's normal, you will never be successful. In today's video, I will be sharing with you some reasons why most young people will die poor. Subscribe to this channel if you're new here so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. They never find their purpose and stick with it. The bulk of all people who aren't happy with their lives are often those who never found their life's purpose and stay committed to it. Recently, I discovered an older man who was running around trying to fend for his family and to finish a house he has started to build for a long while now. As I saw him struggle, it scared me to see the danger of not finding your life's purpose and making sure you commit yourself to it. So many people dance to the tunes of their parents and family members and so never find out what their lives are designed for as to pursue it. In my country, where a school is highly valued, if a child comes to the parent to say he is going to school but dreams to become a musician, most parents would slap such insanity out of the child's brain and shove him into school to study a course that would frustrate the child. Such a child grows up never using his potential and never becoming what he was built for. It is no wonder the rate of poverty in the world keeps increasing. People keep doing a job they hate and yet expect to become successful. You may never be crazily rich doing what your life is made for, but you will be rich in happiness and peace and would have enough wealth to help you meet your needs. Find what your life is made to do. Find what your life should be about and focus on it because therein lies your happiness and your fulfillment. 2. They never take knowledge seriously. In this day and age when knowledge and information are profusely available, I still wonder how countless young people still struggle to make things work for themselves. We have come to a time where it is quite easy to start a business with almost nothing. I read an article headline recently where the author said, it is not true that one can start a business with zero capital. That's foolish talk. It's very true to start a business with zero capital. Just yesterday, I discovered that I had become too busy to iron my clothes because of the loads of work I have to do. Then it occurred to me that I could outsource the task and pay a token. I spoke with a young boy who is my neighbor. He would iron my clothes while I pay him for it. Then it occurred to me that if I was struggling to have my clothes ironed because I was too busy, it is very certain that there are other people in our streets who are experiencing the same problem. If this young boy is smart, he would simply find these people and would speak to them about helping to iron their clothes for a token. If he's smart about the business, doing his work excellently, he could extend his clientele to other streets and grow his business from there, without ever setting up a physical office. And do you think he would need anything to start? No. He can borrow a pressing iron for a start, and that's that. But most young people want a business that is seemingly dignifying. They want a business they would start today and will succeed tomorrow. The reason for most people's poverty is pride. If you don't have money, it isn't because you don't know what odd job you can do in the meantime to quickly earn money. But then, what will your friends say, right? If you don't grow your knowledge in this day and age, you will be poor. The more you know, the more you earn. There are tons of opportunities, especially on YouTube, to learn so much daily. Most of the skills I have learned in the last few months, I learned by just watching videos on YouTube. I don't ever want to be still. I don't ever want to be pushed to the back burner when my opportunity comes. So, take time to prepare ahead by valuing your knowledge now. So when your opportunity comes, you will be prepared. 3. They think life will always be fair. Most young people assume life will always be fair. And so, they never fight hard to succeed. First of all, let me say this. Life will never be fair. I was one of those who used to believe that life is always fair. As I grew to become a teenager, I always mocked those who didn't have, because although my parents weren't quite rich, I always had almost everything I wanted. Growing older and facing my own challenges 
has taught me that life isn't a bed of roses. No, life hands each one their fair share of challenges. We have learned that if you want to succeed, you should look for people who have succeeded and copy their example. Well, while this is true, and you should practice it, this will never remove you from experiencing life challenges. You will fail so many times before you succeed. You will be suspected as fake and unethical when you have succeeded. Even in success, you will experience your fair share of challenges as well. This isn't intended to preach doom into your life, but to make you aware of the uncertainties of life and for you to have a right attitude towards it. The problem isn't in the inevitable challenges we face. The problem always is in how we react towards those challenges. Many young people who are inexperienced in the things of life often get thrown away when they are faced with life's challenges. But when you're aware of these inevitabilities, you will be prepared. You will brace up for whatever comes so that against all odds, you will fight through the storm to become the person you were made to be. I trust this video has inspired you. Don't join the train of young people who miss their ways. Find what your life is designed for and pursue it with everything you've got. Never underestimate the power of curiosity and seeking to know more about yourself, about your field, and about life. And don't ever assume life is fair. Be prepared for the inevitabilities that come the way of each one of us. In doing this, you may not become stupendously rich, but you will rise above the status quo to live the full life of happiness that isn't often available to most people in the world. If this video inspired you, share the video. We love you.